Marcus Aurelius was considered to be one of the greatest leaders of all time. His self-written book titled Meditations is a key insight into his brilliant mind. What if the country we live in was being cared for by a good, respectable leader, just like Marcus Aurelius? The first thing we would see is that he would teach us about forgiveness on a level never before seen in modern times, especially coming from a world leader. In our world today, we are obsessed with retaliation. Every major country, endowed by their own righteousness and overwhelming selfishness, are far too stupid to understand that this form of vengeance it only seeks to increase the size of the battlefield instead of coming down to a handshake between respectable men, the same men who once opposed each other. One thing we would very quickly notice is that he would find ways to end the catering of one race over another. Based on his desire to understand people on an individual level, he would not force diversity or a sense of false inclusion. It forces people to continue to pretend that somehow they are different than others which would promote further conflict amongst them. He would have realized that this is an endless civil war that neither side ever really wants in the first place. He also would not be an acceptance of bribe money, which is something highly corruptible and all too common amongst leaders of today's world. Marcus, just like several other Roman leaders, believed in keeping the trust of the people. Unfortunately, back then, very few Roman leaders had an interest in ending the lobbying of government. Today, we see all too clear that if you accept money from others, you become obligated to adhere to what they think is best. This creates a personal drive for profit and power, which leads even good leaders down a straight path into personal obsession with fulfilling their own desires, leaving them selfishly hunting for their own gain and eventually leaving the needs of their people behind. If a bribe of any kind is allowed to exist in government, then our leaders suddenly have no power over the law, and whoever initiates the bribe is the one in control. Once this happens enough times, we suddenly find ourselves in a world where the people of that nation are entirely left behind. Bloodlust and thievery becomes our new national anthem. The upper class will become the middle class. The middle class will become the poor. The poor will be treated like a parasite and will further be condemned by all the classes above it. And while this is in effect, the very few left in the wealthy class will skyrocket in great wealth thanks to their new selfish laws they created. It's truly the end of a once great nation. Leaders who enjoy these kickbacks must be imprisoned for life, no exceptions. There are so many reasons why Marcus Aurelius would have been the leader we might have needed all along. He likely never expected anyone to read meditations. He had no idea that the entire world, thousands of years later, was going to be able to see him for who he truly was. If we continue to promote his brilliant mind, and more importantly learn the many great breadcrumbs he left behind for us to follow and to ponder on, our world will someday find a balance that he would have only dreamed of. It's only a matter of time.